first patient question is from Gaijin American, saying, what are your thoughts on the effect of the military industrial complex on democracies? Well, this is so broad, I don't even know where to begin. Like, should we dial in on a specific democracy? Like, are we talking about the American military industrial complex, the effect on our democracy, on foreign democracies? I mean, how do you want to unpack this question? Well, I mean, if you're talking about the military industrial complex, the biggest one will be uh, focused on America, right? Yeah. Um, but, okay, so there's so many ways to answer this, but the two main ones um, that I consider, the, one of them is easy because everybody likes to mention it, and they contradict each other, okay? The two, what, what, okay, so the, the, there's a negative impact on democracies and there's a positive okay and i know that this is like this is such a simplified version of this because there's so many different ways that uh, geopolitics and the military industry affect each other right but the two that comes to my mind right now and like don't come at me and be like well what about this what about this okay this is not an exhaustive list of effects okay these are the two main ones that I, that come to my mind one of them is obvious and everybody loves to point this out uh, because it's like it's very uh, easy to be against the military industrial complex, right? The first one is the impact that these institutions have on, um, you know, politicians winning elections or being in power, and also the road. So there's lobbyist group that affect policies, right? Um, and also the idea of how um, careers within the military industrial complex. There's a revolving door between politicians and the military industrial complex. These high positions within, within both are related to each other. And so there's like, there's an obvious, I scratch your back, we scratch mine attitude between them. So the effect of this, this much power and this much money influencing politics and how laws are made, obviously people see that, mm, sometimes justifiably sometimes they're exaggerating on an impact on democracy beyond what the voters want right Be beyond what people want right so that's an obvious one everyone points that it's like this is something that both leftists and right -leaning, leaning people agree on right going after the military industrial complex and showing how corrosive to democracy all that power is um that's that's like you could get that everywhere right you could get that on left leaning far left right leaning far right everybody likes to point, point this out okay they're all against it okay but what they don't point out okay and now i'm going to do some but some f people are going to consider bootlicking <laughs> oh take a, a big drink to get ready like, for that bootlicking. Yeah, <laughs> some <laughs> shilling some shilling from from our overlords because I have seen that these that democracy will like I'm jo joking but like anyways I was gonna say I'm seeing that democracy will be dead someday and these that everything will become a uh, military all governments will become military governments and I'm just trying to like save my ass but no I'm joking um what they don't see is the fact that and I I used to like be so much on the other side as well but now I'm I, in the past couple of years, I've seen how important the hegemony, the the okay, the Western powers ever since World War II, World War Two, the fact that these powers have had so much they managed to have such a high share of military power right relative to the rest of the world right ever, ever since world war ii and even more so after the collapse of the soviet union right the relative peace that the entire world is enjoying because of these superpowers especially the united states along with its um western european allies and australia and japan and south korea right the the amount of harmony and peace and stability that they have been able to introduce to the world 
because of this dominance has been has been able to make democracies everywhere trade political stability and therefore democracy and prosperity for people enough for them to care about democracy worldwide that has had a, such a huge positive effect that and people dismiss that okay um again these are both true okay so like if i say that people might keep pointing out the fact like no the same military powers are responsible for a lot of war crimes blah 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 yes that is true we highlight those here okay but one does the existence of one doesn't negate the, the effect of the other okay we haven't seen this much like it, it's hard for people to believe that this level of peace and stability that we're enjoying is unprecedented because they turn on the news or they watch on YouTube and they just see war and conflict and and they feel like, oh, what are you talking about? The world it seems like it's turning apart, being turned apart. But like they don't understand that what they're witnessing is actually the most um, the most amount of stability and peace that the world has ever enjoyed ever since we had civilization, right? Even even with all the crap that is happening and that has been brought about because of this world order that these military forces have introduced, right? There is a pause, like, this is something that a lot of people will get triggered over, but United States be being the world police, with all the flaws that they have, has been a net good for the world. It has been a net good for the world, right? So that's what I would say. What do you think about that? Um, yeah, I think, um, this is a perspective that I've just been learning more about recently. Um, and as I've started to learn more about it, it's one of the reasons why I think that China will not become the world's dominant superpower, because I don't think they're willing to put the same amount of work in as the U S has, um, either they don't have the capability to yet, or, um, they don't actually want to do that work so much as piggyback off of already existing work. Um, and uh, I think just learning about the amount of peace that's been afforded in the world since the US Navy has stepped up to really like patrol international waters and the seas alone, that was something I never knew about that was really interesting. Um, but yes, obviously, like you said, there are a lot of harms that come with this whole hegemony and we talk about those as well. Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter link in the description below, because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our blasphemous art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.